Warning, the events you're about to see are the results of an extremely ill decision I made to eat the world's hottest substance. I cannot reiterate enough how much you should not try this. My name is Calamari, and this is Mad Dog 357 Number 9 Plutonium. It's the hottest substance in the world at 9 million Scoville units, four and a half times hotter than the world's hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper. This $100 vial of hot sauce is a killer, and today I'm going to be tasting it. All right, this, this is it. This is the world's hottest substance. Nine million Scoville units. Wow, I, 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 I'm really nervous right now. Here it is. It's in this little tiny vial, one fluid ounce. Wow, um, I'm actually kind of shaking. Okay, I got it unwrapped. Let's open it. Okay. Wow, that smells peppery. Okay, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of it. All right, I'd also like to point out that in other YouTube videos where people consume this, they dip the tip of a toothpick into the sauce, whereas I thought I needed to be tough and eat a quarter of a teaspoon. Well, I ended up paying for it later on, so I guess I got what I deserved. Okay, here we go. Let's get a napkin ready. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> wow. That's really hot. Uh. Oh man. Okay. It burns like my ears. Wow. So for whatever reason, at this point the audio became very distorted, so I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through what was going on. Obviously, initially, I was in a very large amount of pain. I couldn't really speak or do anything, so I was just trying to relieve the pain by getting some fluids in me, getting some milk, and it was at the point when I started bleeding out of the mouth that it was realized that this was not just a spicy sauce. What I had just consumed was truly dangerous. So after that footage cut out, the ambulance was called, and I barely made it into the ambulance, like I said, I couldn't really walk. I could just kind of wail on the floor. I don't remember the, the event that well, just because in the moment it was so intense that I wasn't really thinking. I wasn't retaining information or memories. I just remember there was a lot of like yelling, me on the floor, like, crying for help. And I got into the ambulance. And so we went to the emergency room. And at that point, they gave me some little medicines that were supposed to help coat the insides of my stomach. And that didn't really help at all because the 15 hours that followed that were absolutely excruciating. I 
could not sleep. I couldn't move. I couldn't even get up to pee because it hurt so bad to just stand. So around 2 in the morning, the 12 hour mark of me consuming the pepper extract hits. And it, it started to go downhill significantly from there. The pain started surging. I, I was sweating. I remember it, it hurt so bad. I just I had to go to the hospital again. And they gave me a drink that was supposed to numb the insides of my, my digestive system. Around 5 in the morning, I started being able to pass the extract. And then come 6 in the morning, the pain has gone away. Most of the, most of the sauce has left my body. And now, 48 hours later, I'm doing pretty good. Well, the, the big boy thought he was gonna bring in the views by eating the spicy sauce. Well, in reality, it just brought him to the hospital for permanent esophageal damage. But you know what? There's a lesson to this story. If every aspect of a situation is telling you that the decision you're about to make is extremely bad, it probably is. So, the other moral is just don't be stupid. I, I'm telling you from my personal experience, it's not worth it. With all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed watching it just a little bit. The video did not turn out how I was planning just because it went south rather quickly. But, here it is. It's for you guys to watch. And, until next time, I hope you guys all have a great day. And you know what? I usually put it in a little screen at the end, but I'm feeling different today. You know, while you're here, why not subscribe, you know? I, I'm putting out videos pretty regularly. If you're watching this one, you've probably watched all the other ones. Well, with all that being said, I'm gonna go, uh, feed on my family's fetus. Bye-bye!